Good morning, everyone. This is Kyleen with Parents for Public Schools of Pitt County. So excited that you're joining us today for yet another tour in our spring 2021 virtual tour series. Uh, we are so excited to be at South Greenville Elementary School today, and I believe there are three folks who are going to join us for the tour. Let's find out who they are. Hi, I am Allison Covington. I am the current principal here at South Greenville Elementary School. Hi, I'm LaVetta Roundtree. I'm the assistant principal here at South Greenville Elementary. Hello, and I am Tom Mac Willis. I am the other assistant principal here at South Greenville Elementary School. We're so thankful to have all of you joining us today and sharing about the great things happening at South Greenville Elementary. Um, we are going to start out with just a few questions before we get a chance to see your school. You know, parents always wonder about the size of a school. So, Ms. Covington, could you tell us a bit about how many students you have? And in a typical classroom, how many students parents could expect their child to be in classes with? Sure. Currently, we have um, 293 students. We actually have increased our enrollment, so we are very excited about that. Um, and currently our class sizes are small. Um, we are excited about that as well. Um, every school year we have small class sizes. Our biggest class right now is only 20 students, um, and in a typical school year that still remains the same. Um, we typically do not have a class size bigger than 20 or 21. Most K-2 classrooms are around 15 to 16 students. Wow, I know when I'm talking to parents, um, they're often very excited about the thought of small class sizes. So what a gem that is at South Greenville Elementary. Um, parents, I do want to remind you that we are filming during a pandemic, but the answers to the questions you'll hear today are about a typical school year. Um, also keep in mind that if you see folks in videos or part of the tour today who are not wearing masks, they are alone and taking full safety precautions. Um, and if you see folks masked, then of course they, they are following those safety precautions as well. You might even see some pictures from pre-pandemic, um, but know that all safety precautions are being taken while we film this. Um, let's go back to our questions. So one thing that, um, that folks often also want to know is about communication. As parents, we all want to get great communication from our school. So maybe tell us a little bit about how the school communicates as a whole and what parents could expect from their classroom teachers. So that is one thing that we really have focused on this school year um, to really get good communication out to our parents about anything that's going on in the school building. Um, as a whole, we have Class Dojo. Um, we use that to for our PBIS initiative, but it also has a messaging um, app on there that we communicate with parents regularly. Um, we have a Facebook page that we use to communicate um, school-wide events and, and great things that are going on. We also have Remind 101 app for the school. So if you have a late bus or something that's going on in the school building, you can get that text message right to your phone. Um, we obviously have the Pitt County School Schools website um, where we post our information and pictures um, and really just daily communication with phone calls. I do a weekly call every Sunday um, sharing about the events that are coming up for the next week. Um, and that also goes out as an email and a text message as well. So we really, you know, pride ourselves on communicating with parents regularly so that they stay um, involved and know what's going on in the school building. That's excellent to hear. I've not met a parent yet who doesn't value communication from their school. Um, so tell us, speaking of ways that there's communication happening, obviously parents also want to know how they can connect and be truly engaged at their school. So talk to us a little bit about how communication leads to parent engagement at your school. So this is one area that we would love to see next year, you know, really grow. Um, we want more parents in our buildings. We want parents volunteering, um, coming to help in classrooms. Uh, we have a, we're in the process of planning another beautification day that we would love to have volunteers for and parents, things like that. Um, but we really just want our parents to know that they can be here, they can help um, because 
we know that that's what helps a school grow and our students grow. Um, so the more we can have, the better. So we really are encouraging more parents to get involved next year, um, just so we can continue to grow um, the South Greenville that we have now. Excellent. I love that. Parents, you can be here. What a wonderful open invitation. And parents, if you watched any other video, you know my disclaimer is always that it's great to introduce yourself to your child's teachers, counselors, and administrators at the very beginning of the year. And that sets you up for a successful engagement opportunity the remainder of the year. So before we see your school, one last question. Tell us what's unique about South Greenville and what is it that makes people really want to be there at South Greenville Elementary School? So this is an exciting question. Um, we have entitled ourselves the new South Greenville um, and that we are a campus of dreamers. Um, when you step foot on this campus now, I mean, you can feel the energy, the joy, um, the happiness that just is in the building. Our kids love to be here. Our staff loves to be here. Um, we just really have a new energy in the building that is really contagious. Um, you'll see in the video that we're gonna show shortly what that looks like now, um, but we just provide a lot of positive praise. We have culturally relevant instruction for our students. We provide small group instruction for our students. We have really cool initiatives like Tie Thursday and Girls and Pearls. Um, we have cheetah carts and all sorts of awesome things. We provide intervention time every single day for our students to help remediate skills that they may be struggling in or to enrich skills that they're really successful at. Um, so that really one-on-one -on -one personal care for each child. We are a small school and we have a lot of staff on board. So we're able to provide you know, one-on-one -on -one care for really every single child in our building. Um, we are unique in Pitt County Schools because we have two full-time school counselors, two full-time instructional coaches, a full-time social worker, a behavior support specialist, two amazing APs. Um, we just have the support that is needed to grow the entire child, um, not just academically, but socially, emotionally, um, it's just really exciting here. I tell people all the time, I love coming to work every day. Um, so I think that's when you step on the campus and you go inside the building, I think it's something you'll just feel and you'll see. Um, but I love it. We truly are a new South Greenville um, and we really le live, you know, being a dreamer every single day. So that's what I would say. <laughs> So parents, the way that we're recording this, you can only see one person at a time, but I can see everyone and I see these assistant principal spaces lighting up as Miss Covington is talking. So I want to give each of them a chance to say what they love about working at South Greenville Elementary. So Miss Roundtree, tell me something you love about being at South Greenville. I just love the atmosphere. I just love the culture that the leadership has created for our students and our staff. I, I love how everyone embodies that we are dreamers and that we do have a future and that all of our students can be successful and that everybody is willing to support and do whatever it takes to make sure that our vision is, is it comes to light and that the students can feel it. So I just love being here every day. It's just amazing. And the hard work that we're putting in is paying off. And Ms. Cullen does a great job leading this, and it's just been an amazing year. And thank you, Ms. Roundtree. It's, it's so obvious to see that you love where you are. Um, and Mr. Willis, your face is just lighting up like crazy, because I can tell you're so happy to be there. Tell us what you love. I love everything about South Greenville, from the principal, the students, the teachers, the custodian workers, the bus drivers. Um, I just love everything. The community, the parents, I love it. It makes me feel um, amazing just to be, to be a part of such an amazing community. I just love it. All right, well, without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Miss Covington, who has a pre recorded video that they have put together of all the great things happening there at South Greenville. Um, Miss Covington, I think you'll need to unmute yourself to show the video so it, it plays the full sound for everyone. Um, but we will turn it over for that.
Welcome to the new South Greenville. This is Miss Covington, the principal of South Greenville Elementary. I am excited to share with you just a little about all of the exciting work and activities that go on within our amazing building. We are a campus of dreamers. Our school pledge states that all of our students have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. And this is what we live by every day here at the New South Greenville. We provide rigorous and culturally relevant instruction through engaging lessons, small group learning, guided reading, culturally responsive learning techniques, and literature. Our teachers plan together along with instructional coaches and the administrative team to create lessons that engage our students and spark their natural curiosity. We want them to leave South Greenville prepared to reach for the stars to achieve their dreams. We also focus on the whole child through our social emotional learning practices and PDIS initiatives. Our school counselors provide classroom and individual support for our students. As a school, we also promote a monthly character trait. Counselors and teachers teach lessons that highlight ways to practice those traits within the school building and throughout the community. Our PBIS initiatives also recognize all the positive behaviors our students exhibit. Students are rewarded with daily class dozer points, a weekly cheetah cart, a monthly student of the month award, and nine weeks incentives. At South Greenville, it is important for us to praise our students and build their sense of pride in themselves and the school community. One of our favorite new initiatives helps build student confidence, character, and leadership skills. Every Thursday, all of our students participate in Tide Thursday and Girls in Purse. Through generous community donations, we are able to place neckties and pearls on every male and female student within our building. While students receive their ties and pearls, they are given a motivational word about being leaders and always striving to achieve their dreams. The day has proven to be one of the highlights of our week here at South Greenville, and we are excited to continue the tradition building excellence within our buildings. Here at the new South Greenville, we are dreamers who strive to be our best every day. We truly have the best students and staff in Pitt County, and we would love for you to come see for yourselves. We are dreamers. All right, that was an exciting video. It looks like you all are doing really fun things there at South Greenville and the students are engaged and they're learning and they're excited to be there. Um, it looks like a place that every parent would be happy to have their child. Um, as we wrap up our tour today, I wonder if you all would have a closing word to share with any parents who are watching. We'll start with Mr. Willis. Hey parents, how are you? Listen, South Greenville is an amazing place to be. Again, we have the best staff here in Pitt County Schools and we would love for you to come and take a tour and be a part of our amazing community. Hi parents, I can say one thing and one thing only. This is the only place for you to bring your kids. We have transitioned this school and it's an amazing place. And please take the opportunity, if you live within this community, to please bring your child here. It'll be a great opportunity for the whole family. And I just wanna echo what both of them said. Um, we would love for you to come see the new South Greenville. Um, there are exciting things going on every single day. Um, we will definitely take care of your child, um, not just academically, but socially, emotionally, and every other way. We really care and love every single one of our students. So come see us, check out the new South Greenville. I know that you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for sharing your school with us today. 
Parents, I know if you have further questions, Ms. Covington, Ms. Roundtree, and Mr. Willis would be more than happy to answer them through emails or phone calls. And of course, if you have general questions about Pitt County Schools, reach out to Parents for Public Schools and we're happy to connect you with anyone who can help you as you make the best educational choice for your family for the coming years. Thanks everyone and have a great day.